Hey there, today let me break down the TACMAN qPCR technique for you. It's a method used to identify and measure specific DNA sequences in a sample. How does it work? Well, we use special probes that have a fluorescent label attached to them. These probes are designed to match up with the target DNA sequence we're interested in. During amplification, TAC polymerase, a special enzyme, cuts the probes apart if they're bound to the target sequence. This cleavage results in a fluorescent signal that we can measure in real time. This enables us to not only detect the presence of the target DNA, but also to quantify it. TACMAN qPCR is widely used in clinical settings for various applications, such as diagnosing infectious diseases, identifying genetic mutations associated with diseases, and monitoring treatment effectiveness. It's a very sensitive and accurate technique that can detect even very low levels of target DNA, which is particularly useful for detecting infections that are present at low levels in the body. The method is also rapid and reliable, providing results in just a few hours. This makes it an essential tool for patient care and management. Take hepatitis B virus or HPV as an example. First, the assay is designed to target a specific region of the HPV genome. Then a fluorescent probe called a TACMAN probe is added to the mix. This probe is labeled with a reporter dye like FAM and a quencher dye like TAMRA. During the amplification process, the TACMAN probe binds to the amplified HPV DNA. As the TAC polymerase enzyme copies the DNA, it also cleaves the TACMAN probe. The separation of the reporter and quencher dyes generates a fluorescent signal, which is detected by a qPCR instrument. By analyzing the resulting data, we can determine whether the HPV virus is present or absent in the patient sample. This information can then be used to guide treatment decisions and monitor disease progression in patients with HPV infection. Here are the steps. Step one is sample preparation. We start by collecting a blood sample from the patient and isolating the DNA using techniques like centrifugation and chemical extraction. Step two is primer design. We design specific primers that are about 18 to 22 nucleotides long and can target a unique region of the HBV DNA sequence. Step three is probe design. Then, a highly specific fluorescent probe called TACMAN has been designed, which is utilized in quantitative polymerase chain reaction or qPCR assays. TACMAN is a oligonucleotide labeled with a fluorescent dye that binds to a particular DNA sequence during the annealing stage of the qPCR process. At the extension phase, TAC polymerase enzyme cleaves the TACMAN probe and releases the fluorescent dye, producing a fluorescent signal that is proportional to the quantity of DNA template present in the reaction. The term TACMAN is named after the DNA polymerase employed in the PCR reaction, which is derived from the bacterium Thermus aquaticus, or TAC. The TACMAN probe is a product of Applied Biosystems, a biotechnology firm that is now part of Thermo Fisher Scientific and has been trademarked. Step 4 is PCR amplification. We mix the patient's DNA sample, primers, and probe with other components like TAC polymerase, DNTPs, and buffer. We then run the reaction through a thermal cycling process to amplify the DNA sequence of interest. Step five is fluorescence detection. This detection method relies on a special type of dye that emits light when it binds to the amplified DNA product. The amount of DNA present at each cycle of the reaction can then be measured. In TACMAN assay, we use a probe-based qPCR technique that involves a pair of oligonucleotide primers and a fluorogenic probe. The probe is designed to hybridize to the target sequence of interest and contains a fluorescent dye at one end and a quencher at the other end. During the PCR reaction, the TAC polymerase extends the primers and synthesizes a new complementary strand of DNA. When the polymerase reaches the probe, it cleaves it, releasing the fluorescent dye from the probe and separating it from the quencher. As the reaction progresses, the amount of amplified DNA increases and so does the concentration of released fluorescent dye. A specialized detector then measures the fluorescent intensity at the end of each cycle, which is proportional to the amount of amplified DNA. 
This allows us to detect the target sequence and quantify the initial template concentration. The TACMAN probe is designed to bind specifically to the target sequence, ensuring accuracy and sensitivity. The fluorescence detection step is performed in real time during the amplification reaction, allowing for the target sequence to be detected as soon as it is amplified. This reduces the time required for analysis and increases the accuracy and sensitivity of the assay. Step 6 is data analysis. The amount of fluorescence detected at each PCR cycle can be plotted as an amplification curve. The cycle threshold, or CT value, is the point at which the fluorescence signal reaches a set threshold level. The CT value corresponds to the number of cycles required for the signal to cross the threshold and is inversely proportional to the amount of target DNA in the sample. A lower CT value indicates a higher viral load, while a higher CT value indicates a lower viral load. TACMAN qPCR has several important features that make it a powerful tool in molecular biology research. Here are some key characteristics. 1. Probe-based detection. TACMAN qPCR uses a special type of probe that is designed to specifically bind to the target DNA sequence. The probe contains a fluorescence reporter molecule and a quencher molecule that suppresses its fluorescence until it is cleaved by the TAC polymerase during DNA amplification. 2. Is real-time monitoring. With TACMAN qPCR, researchers can monitor DNA amplification in real time during the PCR cycle. The fluorescent signal from the reporter molecule increases proportionately as more copies of the target DNA sequence are generated, allowing for precise quantification of the starting amount of DNA. 3. Is high sensitivity and specificity. TACMAN qPCR is highly sensitive and specific, making it capable of detecting even low copy numbers of target DNA sequences in complex mixtures of DNA. 4. Is multiplexing capability. TACMAN qPCR can detect multiple target DNA sequences simultaneously in the same reaction. This makes it a cost-effective and efficient way to analyze gene expression or viral loads. 5. Is standard curve generation. TACMAN qPCR generates a standard curve using known concentrations of the target DNA sequence, enabling accurate quantification of unknown samples based on their threshold cycle values. Some in vitro diagnostic or IVD products that use TACMAN qPCR technology. Here are some examples. First is the Abbott Real-Time HIV-1 assay. Similar to the Roche-Cobas TACMAN HIV-1 test, this test is also used to measure the amount of HIV-1 viral load in human plasma or serum. It uses TACMAN technology to detect and quantify HIV-1 RNA. This test is also highly sensitive and can detect low levels of the virus. 2. 4 is the Cha Gen Artis Influenza AB PCR test. This test is a qualitative test that uses TACMAN technology to detect and identify influenza A and B viral RNA in respiratory specimens. The test is highly sensitive and can detect the presence of the virus even in small amounts. 3. The BioRad IQ Check Salmonella 2 PCR Kit. This is a quantitative test that uses TACMAN technology to detect and quantify salmonella DNA in food and environmental samples. The test is specific and can accurately identify the presence of salmonella in the sample. Overall, these IBD products that use TACMAN qPCR technology are important tools in diagnosing and monitoring infectious diseases. They provide accurate and sensitive results that aid in the treatment and management of patients. Thanks for watching.